Alrighty guys, I'm the devil, and welcome to some Sky Factory. In the last episode, we organized our storage a little bit more with these storage drawers. And yes, I know we can use applied energistics, but I wanted to use some different mods for a change. So we did this. Now, this episode, what I want to do is get a decent tool set organized, because right now we are just running around with basic tools. So I'm going to grab... 20 obsidian. Actually, no, let's just grab half of that. And we'll smelt this down. And then we need some iron and we need some aluminium. Because I want to make alumni tools. So if we go with aluminium. Oh, let's put that back. Can I get a full stack? Yep, and a full stack of this. Cool. And it's only going to make 16, but that should be plenty to begin with. And I did put some gold back in there. I think I put a... No, I didn't put the block in. I didn't put the block in. Got to put the block in. Put that in, put that in, put that in. So, while that's doing, we need to make up some bits. So I need some wood. Oh, I organized my chests a little bit more off camera, by the way. Just in case you were wondering. So, we're going to need some of these things called patterns. And you've probably seen Tinkers a million and one times. It's not a new mod. But, there we go. We got some patterns. And then we need a stencil table. Then we need a part builder. Then we need a chest. Oh, that was a bad chest. And a crafting table. Actually, I want two crafting tables. And we're going to make one to that. And then we're going to put a thingy above here. Stencil above there to get that. And finally, a stencil above the chest to get the chest. And um, the one. Okay, so there are other components of this to be made, which means I'm going to need a lot more iron. Well, we could use anything, but I want to use iron because it's the most readily available. Okay, so powdered iron ore. Let's get that smelted down since I need four blocks of iron as well. So I'm hoping this is going to... Oh, we got a lot in there. Okay. So, let's do that. Okay, so I want to put these down. The tool station is going to go here, I believe. Yep. And then the stencil table is where we make our stencil, so I want to put that there. Along with the chest there and the part builder there. There we go. And this allows us basically to make stencils. And we do that simply by just clicking the stencil that we want. And making it and I'm just gonna make every stencil here that way they're already made and we've got them for when we need them oh scythe I've never used a scythe but the interesting thing is these tools are a lot better than your standard tools they don't break well they do break but they don't go away they stay in your inventory and you can repair them which is brilliant it makes it so much easier for us okay knife blade pattern sword blade pattern the only problem is there is a hidden one that we haven't got yet. Oh, it looks like I'm going to run out of room in a minute. Never used a fletching pattern either. Yeah, we're running out of... Did I accidentally make a just enough patterns? Now, that would be something if I have. Okay. I doubt we'll use half of these patterns. I'm going to go from here because I can't remember where I was. I don't think we got that string one there. We got one string one, but I don't think it was that string one. Must be it's the only string one, because sometimes they look different here than what they look when they're here. Okay. So we've got all of our patterns now. So now we're going to need to make some patterns into casts. And we do that by grabbing some cobblestone. And I'm going to need some more iron. How's my iron looking? Cool. What is it that we're missing? We've got... Alumni, we've got gold, we've got aluminium. It's aluminium, so we need some more aluminium in there. So I'm going to go grab some aluminium, stick some aluminium in there, and actually make up some more alumni, which right now is probably the best that we've got for tools. I haven't got cobalt yet. Although we may, may automate some netherrack in a minute. Not in this episode, in the future episode, like, but. Yeah, oh, give me. Give me. Oh, my mouse started being dodgy. It's not been dodgy until I started recording. Okay, that's dark steel. Do I have any seared brick left? No, I don't. Not that it's a big problem. 
All we need is gravel, sand, and clay. So I've got some clay. Now I need some gravel, and I need some sand. Actually, do I have a couple of diamonds while I'm here? No, I have one. Okay. We'll do it over here. Just grab a diamond from over here. The problem is we don't have any sand, you see. So we'll just grab four of you. And then we'll come back over here and increase the speed of our sand. Let's just grab you. You'll do fine. Grab a hammer. Because we need a diamond hammer. Did I accidentally grab all my diamonds out? I think I did. There's not many diamonds, is it? Let's put those back. And stick this in here. That should increase our flow of sand greatly. Which would be fantastic. That's what we want. Some sand. And I think I might actually have some sand in here. Yes. Okay. So let's just go with duh. Duh. Make up some quick. Yeah. There is other ways to do this. Grout. Grout. Yeah. I ain't got no more grout. <laughs> okay. So now I need another. I need actually. I didn't make up enough patterns because I need one more. And then I need a. Casting tool station. Then I need these here. And last but not least, I can't remember if it's. I can never remember if this is bricks or the blocks. I think it's the blocks. Yes, it is. So we just need to wait for that to do. In the meantime, let's just pick up some of these. Okay, so to make the part, I know that I'm going to want an axe. So we're going to want the axe. And I'm going to make this cast for now. Out of stone. I'm going to want a pickaxe. So again, let's just stick that there. I'm going to make that out of stone. I'm also going to want one of these. Again, making this out of stone. Making all of these out of stone to begin with. Don't want to really want an excavator, but I will want a shovel. Okay. And then I'm going to want a tough tool rod pattern. And a tough binding. Actually, what parts can you be made out of? Fair enough. Yes, going to need that. Okay, what else do I need? I need a... Um, we've got the pickaxe. We've got the axe. Where's my hammer? Going to need a hammerhead. Okay, cool. And now what I want to do is pick up these. Pop these here, like so. And get the gold pouring out. That way I can make a cast of them. Okay. We should have enough of this done now. Yep, brilliant. So the next episode is going to be a cleanup episode, guys. We're going to go around the base, clean up some of the stuff in the base that needs cleaning up. Cool. This will allow us to make a lot better tools. See, this limits us to these tools. However, this expands us to these tools. And the ones that I want are these. The hammer. Okay. It's strange that that doesn't destroy them, because in like every other one it does. But I'm going to destroy them. Because they are useless. They are literally useless to us. Okay. Now I need this chest. Which I'm going to pop this one over here. Because we can actually put these casts in here. And once I've made the actual stone cast, I would like to just put the blank pattern in the stencil table. Once it goes in. Okay, cool. We've got these casts. So now I'm going to make these into alumni. That's not alumni. That's alumni. Make these parts out of alumni. Because this is a kind of um, material that I want to use. Okay. So we've got those. We'll do the um, stone tool head and the shovel. Oh. That needs to be gold. Oh no. Give me my gold. Make that cast. This does turn gold, I think. Nope, it doesn't turn gold. I had to right-click it. <laughs> That's okay. Okay, so alumni. I need one of those, and I need two of these. Okay. So we go with the tool rod binding now. Okay, while that does, we'll switch that over to gold to make the cast. Once the cast is made, we'll go back to alumni. Make another one of these. Thank you very much. Okay. 
thing is, do I have any molten obsidian here? No, I don't. Okay. So we've got two of those. Now I need you. I need gold for you. Okay. So we've done. That's been done. Actually, that's in the thingy. That's been done. We just need the hammerhead to be done, really. So let's do that. The thing is, I do want some of these parts to be made out of obsidian. Which means I do need to get the aluminium out of here. Oh, sh didn't mean to do that one. Sugar monkeys. Okay, well, we've got that binding now. It's there for if we need it. Okay. Hmm. Let's get this other minion out. So nine. Okay, we can put these away for now. And we can begin. Actually, no, we can't begin making our tools because I don't have any tool rods. Although I could make them out of obsidian very easily. Give me. Because I think the base one, the axe, the spade, and the shovel only require the standard tool rod, if I remember rightly. Oh, right. Okay, I need a binding. Let's just grab some paper. Paper's good because it gives you an extra modifier on your binding. And an extra modifier means we can put an extra thing onto it, like speed or look or fortune. Okay, so, where are we? I don't want this. I want this. Because I need to make one of these tool bindings. So we'll grab that paper binding. And where are we? Here we are. And look at that beautiful pick. Replaces that horrible stone one. And now, the axe, oddly enough, doesn't require binding. So, there we go. The alumni axe. Replacing that axe. And I, did I not make up a an additional one? Fair enough then. Let's just grab that. I thought I did. And where's our spade? Or our shovel? Whichever way you want to call it. Boom. There we go. So now we just need our axe. Our, not our axe. Our hammer. Okay, so there's five in there. So I'm just, I'm going to make this easier. I'm going to break this down and put four in. There we go. And let's smelt down that obsidian. The obsidian is obviously going to take longer than this, which is exactly what I wanted. And this episode is going to be a rather short one, guys, I, th I feel. Yeah, I'll keep hold of that. We'll get rid of that. Yeah, we'll get rid of that. I don't need it. <laughs> I just don't need it. Okay, let's get this out. And I need the tough tool rod. So I want to make that out of obsidian. Oh, looks like I'm one shop. I'm not going to put one in there just yet. It'd be suicide. So I'll smoke down and start making alumni. And then we'll have ingots and... Nuggets and everything just sort of like here, there, and everywhere, and I don't want that. Okay. There we go. Make me my tool rod. Yay, beautiful tool rod. Okay. Now we should have everything that we need to make a hammer. Oh, it looks like I didn't need this tough tool rod. There we go. Our hammer. Look how beautiful our tools are! Look at them! They are gorgeous! Absolutely beautiful. Purple and pink. Please tell me you're still getting power. Okay, you're losing power. Why have you all of a sudden stopped generating power? Oh, we're using too much cobblestone. Fair enough, fair enough then.
Okay, let's move this stack upgrade in here so that that can move a stack at a time. Okay. Study of searching for inventories. Did that just like glitch out on us? I think that just glitched out on us. I think that's what that problem was. Because yeah, these are all working now. Yeah. I think it just like had a bit of a glitchy moment on us. I think that's just what it did, was just glitch on us weirdly. This just seemed to stop working. But yeah, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. So, if you have enjoyed the video, please consider leaving it a like. And click subscribe if you want to see more. I'm the Devil. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next episode. Goodbye!